goes out to my truth talk group gang you know what i'm saying y'all missing out if you guys are not in that truth talk facebook messenger group you are missing out on all the exclusive exclusive content all the truth talk you're missing out on all the fun and education if you want to join that truth talk group mess facebook messenger group send me a friend request to pstr michael smith P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook. And I'll add you to the group. You know what I'm saying? But this is to my Truth Talk group gang. Go ahead, Brother Israel. This is from PenLive.com. Our guideline, Mom of Children Found Dead. I called them zombies. Said world needed to be rid of creatures. Documents. So, so she killed her kids. Because she said her kids were zombies? I'm actually confused as to what happened. Okay, I guess the <sighs> news report is going to tell us. So, uh, go ahead, Brother Israel. It's from, uh, my research from the case of two kids who were missing for a month before they were found dead in rural Idaho <laughs> has taken another bizarre twist with new court documents alleging that their mother believed they were zombies and that she was on a mission to rid the world of such creatures. Yep, so I'm guessing she called because she was zombies. So she was on a mission to rid the world of such creatures. See, the way you, were, you, you uh, read that, she was on drugs. Yeah, so you <laughs> going to rid the world of such creatures by killing your kids, but yet everybody in Idaho that has hopped up on some type of drugs or zombie eyes, why didn't you go after them? Because let's keep it real. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Here's some education for you. And this is for my truth talk group gang too. Here's some education for you. A zombie is somebody who takes a substance that gets them out of the natural mind state and put them in the mind state of that drug or that substance which they're, they're, they're taking. Don't believe me? Let's see. Drinking. For instance, well, when you go to a liquor store, what do you see? The liquor store says wine and spirits. You can drink wine, but when you get drunk, a spirit take over. Don't believe me? Because motherfucking am you talking to somebody who used to be a motherfucking alcoholic. And motherfucking am when I used to be drunk and the dumb shit that I used to do, and once I pass out and wake the fuck back up, motherfucker be like, yo, you know you did this? You did that. You did this. You did that. I said, really? I said, I don't remember shit. Why? Because motherfucker, then when you become drunk, the spirit of that drunkenness takes over your body and now is in control of your body. The same thing when you do drugs. The spirit of that drug takes control of your body and does the unthinkable. Whatever you take, even weed, the spirit of that weed takes control of your body and does the unthinkable. So if you want to rid the world of zombies, then you rid the world of anybody who is hooked on any type of substance that takes their mind out of the mind state that they are naturally in. Because them are zombies. Zombies is spiritual possession. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Yes, sir. You might have to read this in a different view because it just messed up my view. Already? Police discovered the remains of 17 year old Tylee Ryan and her seven year old brother Joshua on June 9th at property belonging to their mother's new husband. The case gained attention for the couple's 
doomsday belief in the mysterious death of their former spouses and court documents released late last week detail more about the strange worldview that detectives think may have influenced Rory Daybell and Chad Daybell. See, let me tell you something. It ain't this, I don't think she she made that story up. She wanted to rid the world of zombie possession. No, she killed her kids because her new husband probably didn't want her with them damn kids. And because she loved her husband, she'd rather get rid of the kids to keep her new husband. That's what I think. That's just my opinion. But go ahead, Brother Israel. So far, no one has been charged with killing the kids who had not been seen since September, but the daybells are both behind bars. I thought she was killed. You said she was killed? No, Lori. Lori's the mom that killed them. Oh, okay. She's dead or, or is she alive? She alive. She locked them. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Lori's attorney has... Uh, Indicted that she intends to indicated that she intends to defend herself against charges of child abandonment and obstruction and obstructing an uh, investigation. Chad has pleaded not guilty to destroying or concealing the children's bodies. Lori's longtime best friend Melanie Gibb has been cooperating with authorities for months, according to the documents written by Rexburg Police Lieutenant Ron Ball Gibb, is the last known person to have seen JJ alive, according to police. When she was visiting Lori Daybell at her apartment in the small Idaho town last September, Gibb reports that when she arrived in Rexburg, Lori informed her that JJ had become a zombie. Well, well. It further reports that the team, that the term zombie refers to an individual whose mortal spirit has left their body and that their body is now the host of another spirit. The new spirit in a zombie is always considered a dark spirit. spirit. Okay, let me stop you right there. This bitch is lying. Because your original spirit do not leave your body. If your original spirit leaves your body, your body is dead. Your body cannot move. The demon spirit cannot move your body. You understand? See, this is spiritual possession. Your spirit is what brings you to life. What happened in the beginning when Adam and Eve, the Most High God, put the breath of life? Into Adam. When your spirit leaves, you're dead. The when, but when a demonic spirit comes into your body and takes over your body, the spirit, other spirit don't leave. The demonic spirit becomes your spiritual husband, whether you're a man or a woman. That demonic spirit becomes your spiritual husband, and that demonic spirit is the one that controls your body now. you no longer in control of your body. That demonic spirit is in control of your body. Let me, get, let, me get, let me tell you, for instance, uh, a drug addict got the spirit of drugs. What that, the craving and the addiction that your body crave is the food that that demonic spirit needs to be full. You understand? So if your body crave, I'm like say I was an alcoholic, so my body craved alcoholic. I, I mean, I can go days without eating. Long as I got some fucking alcohol, I'm good. That was the spirit that was craving my fulfillment. You see what I'm saying? And so forth and so forth. Whether it's weed, you know what I'm saying? Cocaine, heroin, whatever it is. It's the food for that spirit. That's what's called demonic possession. Another spirit don't... Your main spirit don't leave your body. Your main spirit is still there. That's why when motherfucking them, they do an exorcist. What happens? The demon comes out your body. And then you back to yourself again. 
Now, if your spirit leaves your body, when that demon spirit is out your body, then you should be dead under the doorknob. Because your spirit left your body, right? How about when the two possessed men that was possessed with demons, you know what I'm saying, and Christ cast the demons out of the two possessed men. When those demons left that man, that man should have died, right? But instead, that man went back to normal because he's no longer in possession of them demons. See how that works? That's why I tell you this motherfucker is lying. You, you done ran up and slipped up on the wrong motherfucker. You done put this news story into the wrong hands of the wrong person. Because I can decipher all the bullshit. And people, if you really want to hit this truth, you're missing it. You better damn join that damn Facebook Messenger group and chill out. Send me that friend request to PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Yes, sir. It wasn't the first time Gibbs said she heard her friend talk about zombies. According to the statement, Gibbs said Lori Daybell had called Tylee a zombie in spring 2019 when the team didn't want to babysit her little brother and that Lori Daybell had first learned the concept from Chad Daybell at the start of that year. Gibbs said the couple believe that when a zombie takes over a person's body, the person's true spirit goes into limbo and is stuck there until the host is physically killed. Okay, there you go. Now you speak in the truth. Don't say the spirit left the body and you know what I'm saying in a demon spirit. You know what I'm saying? Now you speak in the truth. Go ahead, Brother Israel. The court document said as such death of, a, of the physical body is seen as the mechanism by which the body's original spirit can be released from limbo. Matter of fact, stop right there because we're out of time. See, we can only do so much on these little 10 minute videos. You want to know more, you got to get into that Facebook Messenger group and join the Truth Group game. Oh, you know my what I'm God. Hold up, hold up. Before I end it, I got to say this. I got to. Mm hmm. I got to. All right. It says, uh, at least from, okay. Gibb also said the couple of weeks they were spiritual leaders. She was told by Chad Daybell, uh, and Lori that they held the religious belief that they were part of the church of the firstborn and that their mission in that church was to lead the 144,000 mentioned in the book of Revelation. Okay, I can't say nothing on that because we almost out of, we out of time. But if you want to know more, get into that damn truth group gang uh, uh, chat, Facebook Messenger chat. Send me a friend request of PSTR Michael Smith. I'll answer the friend request and I'll add you to the group and ask me any questions you would like. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamik Israel. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you. We out.